first time was incompetence. This is sabotage. Get to the bottom of this. Hello and welcome everybody. Your favorite gamer here is this for Omega here again. For another Arms Day loadout on this beautiful Wednesday. Uh, let's check in with Banshee and see what he has for us for today. Let's get you back out there. Alright, first up we have the Soros PDX 41. Let's check out rank one for his perks. All right, let's check out the sights. We got the SLO 19s, the SPO 28, great holographic sight with the bonus of target acquisition, and we got the Soros uh, uh, SRO 41. <coughs> All right, perks. All right, this one comes with hammer forge, casket mag, unflinching snapshot, and a rifle barrel. Not bad. Definitely could get some good range on this. Hammer Forge, Unflinching, and Rifle Barrel. Plus with Target Acquisition from the Hollow Sights. That's actually a good gun. Let's see, rank 2. SLO 19, SPO 28. Oh, no, no, 26. My bad. SRO 41. Hmm. Alright, we got fitted stock with oil frame, range finder, speed reload, and reinforced barrel. Hmm. Reinforce strength or reinforce range finder and fitted stock. That's a good combo. But I wish I had better sights. Hmm. That's a decent one. Let's see rank three. Got the SLO 19, SPO 26, SRO 41 again. Alright, this one comes with perfect balance or feather mag. Take a knee, snapshot, and reinforced barrel. Hmm. Hmm. Out of all of these three, I'm actually looking for rank one as the main pick, rank two as a second. These two are worth getting. Going for rank one. Next up, we got the Suros JLB 42 rocket launcher. All right, let's see. Confined launch, soft launch, hard launch. Hard launch, yeah, increase the blast radius and the velocity. Don't really need stability on a rocket launcher. All right, we got single point sling, flare mag well, cluster bombs, perfect balance, and lightweight. Why? Ugh. Why do you keep putting perfect balance on a rocket launcher? Seriously. All right, next up. Combined launch, linear compensator, hard launch. Hard launch is always a good one on a rocket launcher. We got heavy payload. Ooh, it's starting to look pretty nice now. Speed reload, tripod, tripod, heavy payload, hard launch. If there's javelin, yes, there is. This may be a winner. Javelin, hard, heavy payload, and hard launch with tripod. Win win. Especially if you have a Titan with a, what was it, take on helmet, you give it a tracking too. Second one's a good choice. Let's see, third. Warhead, soft launch, counter mass, nope. Single point sling, speed reload, reactive reload, perfect balance, quick draw, nope. Definitely going for the rank two. Tripod. The Javelin uh, Heavy Payload and Hard Launch. Definitely, this is a one. This is a keeper. Next up, we got the Tamar D Sniper Rifle. Let's see. We got the ATA Scout Sights with the ATD Raptor Sights. Not bad. Okay, we got Take a Knee. Who's next? With high Caliber Rounds. Snapshot. An appendage magazine. Hmm. Not bad. Game bonus accuracy won't crouch. 
sliding around the magazine increase reload speed. Well, not that quite. Let's see. ATA Scout again with the ATD Raptor. This one comes with unflinching, spray and play, high caliber rounds, snapshot, and appendage magazine. It looks like these are repeating from the last. Spray and play and unflinching. Hmm. Let's see. ATA Scout, ATD Raptor. Alright, this one comes with Countermass. Who's next? Perfect balance, not bad. Armor piercing rounds, even better. Injection mold. Hmm. Either perfect balance with counterbalance and who's next, or armor piercing rounds to give it a little bit more impact. Who's next and countermass. Actually, this is a pretty good one. Countermass, who's next, armor piercing, or perfect balance. Or you feel like getting a little bit more stability. Definitely going for the rank three choice. That got the range you need, Hunter. Until next time. All right, quick intermission. Swap to the second uh, character. Yeah, yeah. I disable the HUD. Try it now. See if it looks good on the videos. Dead Orbit ranked... what the hell? I'm more than rank 2. I'm like rank 30 by now. Hmm. This guy keep telling me all the ranks I have. I'm 36. Okay, I stopped. That was weird. Let's see, during this intermission, I could answer a quick question from Twitter. And we have one asking about... I'm reading this correctly. He wants to know more about infusing. And it is a one-to-one -one now. So if I have my Hogsaw here with 310, and I have myself a weapon that was like 320, 325, and I want to infuse it, there's no light loss anymore. You directly go from uh, whatever you're infusing into, it takes over that light. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio now. So there's no loss, no gain, or actually, no, there is a gain. There's no loss in light. And I'm really liking this no HUD feature to do videos. Nice, clean, crisp. Say hello to Benji. All right, we got the auto rifle from Hake. Let's see. <laughs> they already missed the part for the freaking Twitch questions. <laughs> I think I may do another one at the end. I don't know. If I get enough of them, I'll probably do a bunch in a regular video, other than Arms Day intermission. All right, we got the HC Hollow Sights. With the LC range sights. <coughs> Danger close. Glass half full. This one comes with high caliber rounds, hand loaded, and small bore. Hmm, not bad. Small bore, glass half full. But danger close, I'm kind of iffy about. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, this one comes with the GA post sights and the LED watchdog sights. Alright, we got partial refund, rangefinder, 
high caliber round, speed reload, and small bore once again. Small bore, speed reload. I really like to go with range and stability boost on any of these guns. So small bore is a good one. Range finder, increase that range. And partial refund, not bad to get a portion of the magazine back after an assist, especially if you're going to PvP. Let's see the third one. The SC hollow sights again, with the LC range sights. Alright, we've got danger close, fitting frenzy, snapshot, speed reload, and rifle barrel. Hmm. And these actually are good. They got a decent perk and a not so decent perk, but I'm really liking the rank 2 one. Because I have messed around with partial refund and and when you got a big group of your friends in PvP or PvE and gain those uh, assists instead of those kills, especially in the new PoE or the Prison of Elders, it would do, it would come in handy getting partial or some of that magazine back. So I'm definitely going for a rank two. Feels good, right? All right, next we got the hand cannon from uh, Amalon. Let's see the first one. Alright, we got Fast Draw IS, Steady Hand IS, Sure Shot IS. Alright, this one comes with Mulligan, Snapshot, Brace Frame, not bad. Triple Tap and Danger Close. Hmm. Alright, this one comes with Fast Draw. Quick draw and sure shot. This one comes with mulligan with slap shot, injection mold. Oh, that drops the range bad. Alright, rescue mag and underdog. Decent, but it could be better. Next up. <laughs> Fast draw, quick draw, true sights. Hmm. Haven't seen Grenader in a while. <laughs> Alright, this one comes with Extended Mag and Brace Frame. Brace Frame max out the stability. Yeah, let me see. There we go. I think it would drop the magazine from 9 to what? 8 or 7. I want to say 7 rounds, but I'm not sure. Icarus and Danger Close. Not really a big fan of Icarus, but I'd rather have Danger Close than Icarus. If I run Danger Close with Brace Frame or Extended Mag, Grenader's also decent. Now all of these, this one seems like the decent gun out of the three. <coughs> so I'm definitely going for the rank three. <laughs> Alright, let's check out test weapons for this week. We got uh, an auto rifle to use against the Cabal. Oh, that's decent. A fusion rifle to use against the Vex Minotaurs. Nice. We got a pulse rifle to use against the Hive. Also nice. And we got a Searle's rocket launcher to use against high ranking enemies. Is this going to be a PV, PVE? All of them? That would be nice. And a sniper to use against fallen captains. Yep. It's one of the, my favorite times when they're all in PVE. Because I really hate doing the ones in PvP. Alright, let's see for the orders this week, or for next Wednesday. We got another uh, auto rifle from Hake. And we got the Soros DSI 43 Scout Rifle, not bad. And we got the Amalan Scout Rifle too, oh, not bad. The Tunelli, or Tunella. I don't know why it has a Soros logo on it, even though it's Amalan. We got a Pulse Rifle from Hake, nice. And another sniper rifle. Not bad. Not bad at all. Until next time. 
Indeed, until next time. Well, that was uh, Arms Day Loadout. Thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel for more. <laughs> and you love it when NPCs talk over your uh, outro. Anyway, take care, uh, take care and check you guys later.